Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video demonstrating screencasting from your Android device on your Google Chromecast. The Chromecast is honestly a fantastic little device. Uh, it's only $30 on Amazon. I highly recommend it. One of my uh, favorite pieces of technology that Google has come out with. Um, you can stream Netflix, Hulu Plus, YouTube. Uh, anything in your Chrome browser and now anything that is shown on your Android screen can be cast to your Chromecast. Um, it's great as a gift too. I actually got it for, as a birthday present for my mom and she, she loves it as well. So again, highly recommended, but let's go ahead and demonstrate it. What you can do is actually, you need the latest Chrome uh, Chromecast app on your phone. I will link to where you can get that. It is version 1.7 or later. If you do not have that or it's not showing up in the Play Store, I'll link to where you can download it in the description. So make sure you get that on your device. All right, and once you have that updated Chromecast app, you're ready to go. I do want to make a note that at the time of this video, July 10th, um, the only supported devices are uh, Nexus devices, Google Play Edition devices. I believe the S4, S5, um, I believe the LG G2, HTC One M7. I don't know if the M8 supported yet, but there's a list of sort of supported devices. I will also post in the description of the video. So. Um, I'll make sure to post those. They, it will get updated with more devices in the future, so stay tuned if your device is not supported. Anyways, with that updated Chromecast tab, go ahead and go into it. It's looking for devices. Make sure your Chromecast, you'll see I have two, mine and uh, my mom's as well. So we can. what you need to do is swipe over and you'll see an option of cast screen. That's all you need to do on an S5 or a non-Nexus device or Google Play Edition device. So let me go ahead and grab my Nexus 10, it's just different on Nexus devices, so let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick for those of you on a Nexus device. You can unlock it, what you can do is you swipe down and go into the settings. In this toggle, you'll see a cast screen option right there, or you can go ahead and go into settings and then go into display settings, and there's a cast screen option right there. So depending on whether you're on a Nexus device or a modified version of Android, such as TouchWiz or Sense, uh, it depends on whether you need to go into the app or not. But regardless, we can go ahead and go and cast screen and we're going to want to connect to device. Now, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my mom's Chromecast, which is this is her TV. So there we go. We can go ahead and focus on that. And now everything you do on your phone, it uh, will go ahead and emulate on this screen right here. So you'll see it's actually pretty responsive when you, uh, when you do various things. And it also transmits audio as well, which is uh, great. So when you want to watch videos, um, another great thing is to show pictures. We can go to the camera application. Actually, the camera application will show up. So there you go. Um, moving this around. So it's, it's kind of interesting. I took a nice picture of some camera inception. You can just see that it's just like non-stop TVs back there. You can see the wave. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the wave there, that was kind of cool. Regardless, if you want to show off pictures, you can. You can go ahead and go into your gallery application, swipe through some pictures. You'll see I took a couple videos, so I will demonstrate that 4K does not really work very well. It's actually kind of laggy. Um, here's a picture of just the table I have sitting in front of me. If you wanted to zoom in on something, you can. This is just a Logitech speaker that I have. Um, so you can see that it uh, shows good detail as well. I mean, obviously everything on my Android phone is shown on my TV. Uh, it's actually a great speaker. I'll do a review on it soon. I uh, definitely recommend that as well. It's been great so far. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out uh, those videos. I went ahead. It didn't work on the stock Samsung video player, so I'm going to go ahead and use MX player right now. Uh, go to my camera. I'll show you the 4K video. Did not work very well, so I'm going to go ahead and select that, and you'll see that audio and video is kind of laggy. Um, I'm going to just hit start over. Um, you'll see it's it's choppy. This is 4K though, so it's kind of expected. So you'll see how choppy it is. It has audio, but the audio is not coming well. It's coming through very well. Let's try the 1080p video now. So there you go. Uh, that worked great. So 1080p is just fine when uh, streaming through your Chromecast. So that's good news as well. But overall, that's the demonstration. You'll see um, it's been great so far. Uh, so if you wanted to show off anything, obviously you can see that uh, it, it's very responsive. Uh, it's smooth. It does run your battery down a little bit. That's kind of a downside. But usually when you're in your house doing this, you have a charger nearby. So that's good news. So yeah, again, highly recommended. The Chromecast is a fantastic little device. You just plug in your HDMI slot in your TV. 
and it works great. So hopefully this video, uh, you enjoyed this video, uh, this demonstration. Let me know what you think, leave a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links will be in the description of the video below. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.